Hey guys, thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. Now, what, what about riots? I know that um, churches are, especially after the summer of love, um, besides filing an insurance claim, um, you know, if a church faces violence, can they sue the state? Can they demand punishment? Is there anything they can do in that case? Yeah, it's real problematic because there's been many violence actions taken against churches as well as pro-life clinics. And for some reason, the Biden administration's Department of Justice, um, Attorney General Gardner, uh, he, 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 doesn't, um, uh, he doesn't want to do anything about it. He doesn't care about that. Um, and uh, he doesn't want to prosecute, you know, people, my, you know, rioting, mob people. You have attorney, uh, district attorneys of, you know, Fox of Chicago and in places like Los Angeles and in Oakland and in Seattle and Portland, not prosecuting, not pressing charges against massive vandalism and violence, especially against what deals with churches or pro-life clinics. So it's very, very tyrannical. That's one reason why these states are, are people are leaving. They're saying, forget Seattle. I'm not safe. Law enforcement won't protect me. The, the city council preventing me, common citizens and churches and people from being protected. We need to leave and go someplace where we, where it's, we can at least have law enforcement protect us. Um, and these are same places where people can just go in and steal whatever they want and leave and think there's no ramifications. Oh, there's ramifications, all right. Our prices go up and those stores get closed. So uh, we see that happening against churches and institutions like that. You know, they get frustrated. You know, pa uh, church, uh, parachurch ministries, uh, pro-life clinics. Uh, you know, what we encourage them to do is uh, to, first off, protect themselves. We have a presentation to provide them, uh, increase their security. Uh, they need to have higher security. We have a, an expert on our staff. He's done a, a training video that we have available on our website, pji.org, uh, to help uh, churches and others uh, learn how to provide greater uh, protection uh, for their institution. That's number one. And number two is uh, to use private investigators to try to make it compelling for law enforcement uh, and for prosecutors and district attorneys to do their jobs. But number three is more important. And that is uh, for them to be involved, get their people registered to vote so they can vote righteous people into office um, and district attorneys and, uh, and people who will be appointing, uh, you know, someone different to the attorney general position in the department of justice. Uh, you know, that's really what it often boils down to evil people in power, promoting wickedness and hate towards Christians it's because Christians don't vote. Um, that's a lot of it right there. And um, they need to speak out and they need to vote. Otherwise, they're just uh, they're just stringing up their own news to hang themselves. Um, yeah, I heard uh, evangelicals were the largest uh, non-voters in the last election. Largest group. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's shameful. And some people...